Put your hands together for these uh, peewees out here at Colton County. It's always tough. Uh, you start with a peewee class. You just want to get these kids out here to kind of excited about showing sheep. They are the future of the program. And uh, it's nice to be here and see well, there's seven of them out here. And a lot of them have brothers or sisters. Some of them are just borrowing sheep from somebody else. But uh, most of them at least knew the name of the sheep and everything. And, uh, <laughs> it's just neat to get them out here. We're going to do something just a little, little different than that I've never done before, but we're going to spread these kids out amongst the ring a little bit. I'm going to give parents and grandparents an opportunity to go get a picture of just, just those kids. Uh, it's something that, uh, as parents and grandparents, it'll be a treasure moment for you, but uh, as these kids grow and, and get involved in 4-H and down the road, um, they will, uh, they'll appreciate these pictures too. Um, I always thought they were kind of goofy when I was that age, but uh, as now looking back on my own kids and, and finding some pictures of me, it, it's just always neat to look back. So I'm going to position them in different places of the ring. That way uh, everybody can get a picture of just their own, own child. Thank you.
Got a single entry here in our Dorset ULAM class. Uh, really nice, elegant U up through that front end. Front one third of that one I really like a, a whole lot for a Dorset U. She's really tucked up and elevated up in that chest floor. Really nice and neat to that blade. One that could uh, surely stand some competition down the road. Uh, one that's really level and designed down her top and, and keeps that levelness off her dock. One that'll uh, be interesting to look at later on out here in the Champion Drive. Thank you. center course of her body all kinds of spring a rib and volume carries herself uh, deep down that rear flank if we're going to change this one any any uh, we're willing to tuck that front end up a little bit smoother up in that front end maybe just take a little bit of fat off this issue she's getting a little heavy for my liking today but one that uh, really makes a nice project for this young man
really a nice one to start this class with in this Hampshire division. Uh, really fitted well. One of you really appreciate uh, how she's built and her silhouette when she gets on the standstill and when she gets out and moves, she moves plenty well enough uh, that you know you might want to just lengthen her stride just ever so slightly to, to make her uh, super elite, but she gets out and, and, and moves plenty good enough. One super long neck, comes down at top, explodes in a big rib shape, really massive when viewed from behind. Just a really nice one this young lady starts to class with. You coming out in second, I will grant she is the bigger top uh, sheep in the class, but one that for me, we got to start at the ground. And I'm not, I'm not talking wool and fluff. I'm talking, we just need to make that one a little, uh, a little stouter at the ground in that bone work. She's got a big old foot on her and she just don't carry it as true. And this one gets a little uh, rough up the front end for me, but a uh, one whale will brood you down the road that made it correctly, uh, could knock it out of the park pretty handedly. Nice project, young lady. Young man coming out in third, and the U in fourth, they give up a little size and condition in this class, uh, but two really, make, two, two U's that are made really nice and styled. The one in third uh, has a little advantage when viewed from behind. She's just a little wider from front to rear and, and sprung apart just a little bit more. The U coming out in third just needs to be stoutened up on her groundwork also. Thank you. type of you in this hemp fall division uh, one you really appreciate how level she is through that dock if we're going to change this one any i maybe just smooth her up to that front end just ever so slightly she's starting to show some maturity but should be with her age uh, one that uh, will look really good coming back out in the drive thank you
class, we will select the champion hatcher here. As a trophy, is sponsored by Old School Welding, Craig, and Vegan Lighting Academy. It's a lot of county fairs. You don't see a whole lot of yearlings, uh, but as we get in this show, I hope to see several. The one we're going to use to, to be to be the class winner, I think, just has a whole lot more uh, depth of body, spring or rib, carries her muscle down deeper in her leg. There's just more pizzazz to this one. Uh, she, in my opinion, easily wins this class. So you in second, you really love her, love her level of design and maybe how she's a little extra elevated. But with that, when, when viewed from behind, she just lacks a little bit of meat and muscle down her top and carries this little extra condition for me today. Thank you. And put our hands together for these Hampshire exhibitors out here in the ring. I think it's it kind of close for the reserve hole. I think the champion hole, uh, there's one out here that's just so neat and her design, so long bodied, but yet carries herself together and stays balanced. Uh, then, when following her, um, I think there's two that kind of get a little closer, but one follows her in type and kind and, and is a whole lot prettier up through the front end. I'll go out and pick your champion reserve.
a pair of natural colors out here. We're gonna go ahead and use the more uh, extended. She's taller at the point of her shoulders, uh, super long bodied type of you that uh, if you're gonna change this one, you'd like to see her blow apart there in that rack region and down, down, carry it down through her rib and flank area. But one that uh, as she matures on, I think there's a good skeleton there to add some muscle to. One that's uh, super, super neat up through that front end. Uh, we'll follow her up with a U that it, it really made nice when you get your hands on this U. There, there's parts you like about her, but she just gets a little uh, high in that twist area. Wants to get a little pinch in her pins for me today. Thank you. does get her set she is so flat top and, and get your hands on her she's got a big old loin in her one that's really made neat in her lines and when she gets out and moves and prances around when, when she's calm she does it and keeps that top level she got a little wound up and was wanting to pop that top just ever so slightly but one you really love how jack she is in that front end and for a yearling how smooth she is to that shoulder and her condition's almost perfect nice project Here, hand that, and now walk back up. Go back. 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 Go
Good. Put your hands in for these natural color exhibitors. We got here in the natural uh, championship, and I think there's a logical place to go. There's one that uh, she just takes a really cool side view. We're gonna go ahead and use your uh, yearling as your champion and come back with your lamb for reserve. How do you want Oxford, you lamb out here in the single entry deal. Uh, one, you really like this one through the center portion of her body. Carries a lot of meat and muscle and mass when viewed from behind. If you're gonna change this one, I'd maybe like to level her up just ever so slightly at that dock region, but one that uh, can surely stand some competition later on this afternoon. Thank you.
out here, your Shropshire ewe lambs. You got a little give and take in this class. We're going to start the uh, class with the ewe that's just bigger footed, bigger bone. Uh, when you get behind this one, uh, she's got more leg and more ma natural meat down the road to pass on to offspring. One that, uh, if you're going to change this one, I'd like to tighten her height up just ever so slightly, make her a little thinner height and a little tighter height. But one that's really long and, and neat up to that front end. The ewe coming out in second just gives up too much from the ground up for me. Wants to stay too narrow based as she elevates off the ground and just <clears throat> never does want to actually level out down at top and relax. Thank you. here in our yearling shops uh, you look at these two ewes and, and there's some give and take when when viewing off of them you get your hands on these ewes and it kind of uh, they separate themselves in my opinion pretty handily the ewe we're going to start with uh, she appears to me to be a little over conditioned standing here looking at her when you get your hands on her she's really made really wide down that top not carrying much extra condition at all she gets out and moves with a long stride a lot of longevity there when viewed from behind there's just a lot of meat and muscle in there uh, for the shrop division the you coming back in second you know she's getting a, a tick on the extra cover side for me and when you get right behind her i'd like to spread her apart widen her up from the ground up just put more base width in there thank you
hands together for Shropshire exhibitors today, please. bring our first and seconds uh, back out here and I think there's some give and take between the big U's and the little U's but uh, as I see them and analyze them I think uh, you got a logical place to go we're going to use the two yearling U's to stay together and be champion reserve. class of South Down uh, U lambs out here. We're going to start with the, the U that there's just more of her from front to rear. Uh, really good that center portion of her body. When the girl gets her together, she draw, draws a really nice silhouette. For a South Down, you got to love that head and neck, how, how long and extended that head and neck is and carries back into a big old body and, and keeps that width all the way through and, and really wide pin setting for a South Down U lamb. The one coming out in second. Just gives up, gives up overall size and frame to the U that we use above her. I understand she's a little younger, but one I'd like to just widen up, especially through that pins and maybe carry that on down, just make her a little wider from, from the ground up. Thank you.
A really uh, interesting class of South Down yearlings here, and, and I'll be the first one to say if uh, if you want to talk to me and, and do something a little different in this class, I, I, I'm here to listen, but I think there's one that when you get your hands on her and realize how lean she is, not, not lean the bad way, but how lean she is, how smooth she is down that top, and just got a well of a handle on her for a yearling you, that's what we're going to leave the class off with. She's just got a tick extra extension compared to two and three. Just one that I think balances up a little nicer and neater and, and, and than three and four. One that's just put together to me in the best package of the four out here. Very nice yearling youth, young man. <laughs> you coming out in second, um, definitely on the standstill, the more balanced, uh, probably the more show ring ready type you. But when you get your hands on this you, she's just carrying a little extra bark for me today. One that I'd like to lean up, you know, maybe 30 days ago, uh, this one wins the class hands down. But today, uh, I think she's got a little extra bark, and I'm going to go ahead and use the longer side of you ahead of her tonight. But the one, one that does balance up the most correctly is definitely the you in second. The you coming out in third, I thought she followed the you in second most in type and kind. One that when viewed from behind, she just wants to be a little pinched and then pins. Uh, you really like the issue up through that shoulder blade, how neat and level she is through there, and, and got a lot of swoop to that belly, back in that rear flank, a lot of spring rib for this young lady to work with down the road. The U coming out in third just gets too narrow base. She, she's the pretty design, longer, longer uh, and more extended type of U. She just gets too narrow base for me to run any higher today. Thank you. Go to South Down Exhibitors, please. This is probably one of the tougher decisions I've had all day. Uh, there's a little bit of different types and kinds out here, but they're good in their own right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the one that I feel balances up a little bit better, uh, more proper condition. Then we're going to follow her back with one that, uh, that I think also is more proper condition. And, and got a little future ahead of her. Thank you.
Texel Division, uh, definitely some give and take in this class, but we're going to go ahead and start the class with, uh, with the more balanced uh, units to take longer body. She wants to stay a little truer in her shape from her hooks to her pins, stays level with her dock back there. Uh, if you're going to change this, you, I'd like to definitely tighten her uh, height up a little bit. I know that the, the, the wrinkle is kind of a trait in the textiles, but as in every breed, we, we try to uh, improve them. That's where I'd like to improve this U right here. The U coming out in second, really heavy muscled type of U, but I just really like to lengthen her up from end to end and just clean her up through her front one third just ever so slightly to make her running higher today. Thank you.
Whiteface Cross Lamb Division, uh, one that really could use some competition. She's really nice and neat down that top line, carries it real down low in a nice leg, a lot of center course for her body. If we're going to change this one any, we'd like to just maybe tuck her chest floor up just ever so slightly and give her a little more extension of her neck, but a very nice project for the young man. start your commercial use off with but I think there uh, obviously is an easy class winner out here with that being said I mean th this one is is really elegant uh, from front to rear really made neat and nice in her design one that looks like a breeding piece down the road that you could sure uh, sure expect to find some weathers or, or a stud buck out of later on 
one, you really appreciate how level she is down her top, how wide she is down her top, and just carries it and explodes uh, down that leg. A really nice sheep to start this class with. Had a uh, little give and take here in my second, second and third sheep. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the sheep that I think follows our class with her most in type and kind. Where she excels over three is she's just a, that much neater and nicer up to that front end. She might give up a little bit of width when viewed from behind, but she tracks a little better on the move for me for my liking. Also, I, th I think she gets out and tracks better than three. The U and three is carrying just a ticket condition for me. That don't bother me all that much on this big old wide based U. But when she wants to get out and track, she wants to walk outside of herself ever so slightly. She wants to dump that front end just a little bit from me. We get down to four and five. Uh, we got two sheep that just don't have the overall width and mass to run higher today. You really like the sheep coming out in the, the fourth hole, how long and neat she is up to that front end. She just runs out of gas when viewed from behind. The U coming out in fifth. Uh, we like to level her down her top and just kind of whiten her all the way through also. Nice class of use. Good job, kiddos.
set of U's out here. There, there's, uh, there's good in all four of these U's, and, and you, could, you can change them up a little bit. And, and I, you know, I'm not going to argue real, uh, real hard with anybody on this. We're going to go ahead and use the U that I feel balances up the most. She's kind of the show sheep of the group. When you get your hands on this U, I would like to just kind of blow her apart right up in that rack, start right there at the front and blow her right there. But as you can visually see, she does grow as she comes back. Uh, all kinds of spring of rib, really neat back in that uh, lower leg area, one that can stand some competition here later on. The U coming out in second, I think she just kind of falls in this hole uh, uh, of second. As you start analyzing the four that are out here, she. Uh, She's the next most balanced and, and most neat in her design. A U that I would like to really just stouten up from front to rear when you get really analyzing this one. But uh, one that sure is uh, nice in her design in her own right. The blue U coming out in third. This young lady does a really nice job on this sheet. She just wants to give up from flank and give up a little bit. She wants to get a little flatter legged uh, back in that muscle shape uh, when viewed from behind but one you really gotta appreciate and her color really sets her off out here. The U coming out in fourth was really the troublesome U in the class for me. She's uh, definitely showing her maturity the most. She's kind of falling out front end right now already and definitely got a little extra fat cover, but one that really balances itself up and really fits in the second place U nicely also, but nice set of four U's. Single entry out here in your commercial yearling uh, U division. Uh, one you really got to admire when this uh, young gal gets her set up. How this one is a yearling U, still looks youthful and, and uh, very athletic. Uh, runs uphill. You get your hands on this one. She's conditioned almost ideally in my mind. Uh, there's plenty of top there. Uh, definitely a big old rack U that that definitely has a lot of future in a breeding pen down the road. Thank you. 
Let's go ahead and put our hands together for commercial U exhibitors, please. We got uh, five nice representatives out here. Uh, I think it gets a little challenging which way to go. I think there's two U's that, that I feel are uh, more than deserving of, of this award, but there can only be one. Uh, the give and take is, uh, in my opinion, the young lady up in the, in the, out of the first class, of that U, you really love her rack shape, her top shape, how she carries her aim down through through the uh, lower leg area. She gets out and moves and tracks. She's big footed, uh, really nice and neat in her design. This you, uh, you know, we'd like to just, as you can see that shoulder just sticks out there ever so slightly, like to jack that back in her just ever so slightly, but a really good you in her own, own right. Uh, as we said, the, the you in the second class, she gives up a little bit in that rack region. And, and I, I think that's what kind of falls her out of this deal. If she was more blown apart that rack and carried everything on back, I think she could be making a hit. We got the yearling you here that uh, when you get your hands on this one, it, she's just really impressive. Uh, I, I would like to maybe see her just a scale bigger in her making design, but one that uh, is really made nice. And, and, and for a yearling you, just really tucked up, neat in that chest floor, laid nice in that shoulder. So I think uh, as I analyze these, uh, you know, it comes down to you use the, the really long spined whale butted uh, lamb or do you come back and use the really neat, neat style designed uh, yearling. So I'm going to quit yapping about it and go out take one last look and make my decision. Thank you. Champion or reserve? Born and bred. Champion or reserve? Champion born and bred here for Fulton County. Uh, we got two that were second places out here earlier in our in our uh, champion drive. I think we talked about them in class, and there was one that uh, I really liked, and she kind of fell in the spot. We're going to go ahead and keep her uh, uh, rolling. It's going to be the one out of your second class will be your champion.
put your hands together for these uh, exhibitors out here in your grand drive. As I travel, go to different county fairs, uh, district shows uh, around Kentucky and Ohio, as long as, as well as Indiana. Um, it's always uh, kind of neat when you get called back a second year, and because uh, the first year you, you had no clue of what you might see there. And uh, I can tell you, Fulton County, you, you you excited me last year with a nice set of sheep, and uh, this year you. Uh, you definitely improved in my opinion. And uh, I see that instead of just having a grand reserve, we're gonna pick a top five and I think that's well deserving. Uh, we're gonna be able to easily get five that uh, I believe that, that are nice. And, and as a judge, I mean, you wanna be able to take a picture with something and down the road, look back and remember that one and, and, and know that you made the right decision. And I think out here, not just out in the ring, but we got some reserves that'll be coming back in later. I think we're going to find uh, five rather handily that fit that bill. With that being said, I think there's, uh, there's a couple that are out here in the ring that, that kind of set themselves apart, uh, kind of make themselves elite. With that being said, I'm just going to go out and pick your uh, grand. We'll wait for the reserves to come in and uh, I'll reanalyze it and we'll get you through a top five. Uh, but uh, one more time, please uh, put your hands together for these exhibitors.
things to kind of consider and put into your head you want to use that are very similar in type and kind uh, resemble each other in size and frame and, and I think all these uh, pairs do that relatively well and, and then after after you kind of analyze that you definitely want to go towards the quality so I'll go with that being said I'll go out and pick you a champion and
We're going to use one that's really elevated to that front, front one third. You uh, really like this one through his shoulder and his proportion down his top, or her top. It's a U lamb out here in the market division. But uh, one, if we're going to change this one, we're going to tighten that hide up and, and, and maybe thin it up just ever so slightly and, and try to make her a little prettier appearing. Uh, just j just in her makeup with her hide, but when viewed from behind, really square hip, one that really gets out and moves okay. Uh, one you really just like the shape and dimension of this one. Uh, you get into a pair and two and three, they're awful lot alike. Uh, lots, of, lots of meat in these sheet and muscle, but with that, uh, they also have are carrying just a little extra condition for me at, at, at the weight that they are today. Uh, the one in second, I think is just a little longer spine, a little neater through that hip region. Uh, one that you really want to jack that front end up, elevate that chest floor, smoothing through his bottom line. The one coming out in third uh, just gets a little bunched up uh, when viewed from the side. I'd like to really uh, lengthen that one's spine, just elevate it all the way around. Thank you. Move into our Hampshire division. I think we've got a logical class winner here uh, to start the class with. This one has some show ring appeal. Really like how tight heighted, thin heighted this one is. You get your hands on him, he's got a big old nice rack. You get right over top of him, and you can see a groove down his top, and he's just got all kinds of meat and muscle coming back to that loin uh, and carries it down uh, well into his leg. One that's really jacked up in that front end, really nice and neatly. You know, one that I think has a bright future ahead of him, not just being good today. I think this is going to feed on and, and be all right on down the road. The one coming out in second follows him uh, definitely the most in type and time. He's the more elevated out of two and three. He, uh, he along with that, also has just a little more uh, loin edge to him than the one coming out in third. One that's uh, really a nice second place sheep in this class. <clears throat> Come down the young lady standing in third, the third hole. Really nice young green sheep. Just needs more time on feed and development uh, through that hind quarter for me today. Thank you. You got him?
very nice uh, set of uh, heavyweight uh, Hampshire lambs uh, from top to bottom in this class. You talk about meat, muscle, uh, it, it's in there. Even our third place sheep, when you view him right from behind, he's probably the widest based uh, lamb in the class, but he gives up some style and design to the ones above him. The one coming out in first, I think he kind of wins his class handily. He's a really stylish type of sheep that balances up, really flat top. If you're going to change this one, I'm picking on a good one here, but uh, if you haven't noticed, I, the first view you look at a, any animal coming in the ring uh, is that front view. And I'm going to pick on this guy just ever so slightly. I'd like to check, tuck that chest floor up just a little bit on this one to make him a just true elite one, but one that uh, is very good in his own right. Uh, really, really grooved up down that top. A lot of meat and muscle. Carries things down through his leg. Very proportionate. Really like how he's filled down, down in that rear flank. Very, very good project there. The one coming out in second. Uh, probably uh, the the most balanced and stylish sheep in the class. Maybe don't have that extra look and pizzazz, but he gives up just a tick of base width. Uh, he definitely is jacked up just ever so slightly more than the one <coughs> in front of him in the chest floor. But when you view him down his top and get from behind, he just lacks too much there to move up to win the class. The one coming out in third. Very, very good project for this young lady. A lot of county fairs. This one move up a, a whole lot farther. But this one just get, wants to get a little early in his maturity. Uh, carry his front end a little low for me, but one is packed full of meat and muscle. <laughs> I think from uh, the classes, there's a pretty logical place uh, to start, and I think uh, your real decision comes for your reserve. Um, I think it's kind of close for reserve. Uh, you got two out here that they're a little bit, they're, they're, they're different sizes, obviously, different maturity patterns. You got the class winner uh, that we're talking about, possibly for the reserve deal out of the first class, really young and youthful and athletic in his maturity. Uh, one that when viewed from behind, Izzy, as blown apart as he could be, I don't know, but he sure is down the top. Really cool up to that front end as we talked about in class. The one that was second in that other class, uh, you know, they're, they're again a, a sheep that uh, it is, he's a little more in his maturity pattern, wanting to show some things, and, and maybe don't get quite out and move quite as uh, nice and neat. So I'm going to go out and pick the champion and come back with your reserve.
champion. I think uh, there's one we talked about, possibly good enough to be reserve of, of the breed. We're going to use the young ladies, uh, big sheep, to be your ch champion county boy. Definitely plenty to uh, talk about and discuss out here in the Natty uh, Market Division. Uh, if you've been listening to me all day, you know uh, this one kind of really isn't my style, but when you bring one this pack full of meat and muscle and it's a lean package, uh, <clears throat> you, sometimes you got to go ahead and use an order and go ahead and use uh, this real meat wagon to win this class. Uh, obviously, you ought to be able to figure out I want to jack him all the way up in the front end. I want to take some of that chest floor away from him. But you talk about one that is chock full of meat and muscle from front to rear, uh, hard as you can make them, handles really well, and, and actually handles fresh for as, 
for as much as that front end uh, has showed maturity and dropped out of him. Um, one thing, anybody's fed a bunch of sheep, especially blue ones, you gotta appreciate this guy because uh, he has definitely converted feed. The one coming out in second, uh, obviously more my style jacking that front end. We'd like to really stouten this one up with his foot and legs along with three there also. But uh, one, when you get your hands on this sheep, he's conditioned right, he's made right. Really nice uh, d level of design down his top. Really carries a nice leg. And he just needs a little more time on feed to, to run higher with, with the powerhouse ahead of him. Nice job, young lady. The ULAM coming out in uh, second, or, or excuse me, third. Uh, if you want to move this one to second, I'm not going to argue very much. Uh, but she's showing maturity through that front end, and she just wants to be a little pinched back there in her pins and, and not move quite as well as uh, the one that fell into the second hole. But a very nice project, very nice uh, nat natural color market line for this young man. And then we come up with a pair in, in, in the back that just give up a overall top shape and dimension and width for those above them. Thank you. single entry out here in your Oxford division, but one that could definitely stand some competition. Really well balanced, neat, stylish type of a sheep. Get your hands on this sheep. He's uh, he's conditioned about correctly. Uh, a lot of meat and mass when you get behind this sheep, really like the lower leg of this guy. If we're gonna do anything, we, we may just wanna clean him up just a little bit uh, on the undercarriage there and elevate him up to that front end, but uh, a really nice project for this young man that's having fun. Good job, young man.
Shropshire uh, Market Division. Got a U land to win this class. Uh, one you really like up there through that rack shape. Really big, bold, sprung. Carries it well. Carries a lot of meat and muscle down that lower leg. Once it's chock full of meat and muscle and, and adequate enough in the condition today. Got plenty of look to, uh, to definitely be a champion. Very nice project for the young lady. We got a pair of sheep coming in, a little more, a little taller extended type of sheep. Uh, I think the one in second excels the one in third, just overall base width and, and, and doability down that top top line. She just, he's just ever so slightly thicker and wider down through there, carries it down his leg, more like the class winner. The one in third, you really like how this one moves and, and, and real athletic get around the ring. Just needs more time and feed to develop down that top and in that lower leg to compete with the ones above you. Thank you. We move into the South Downs uh, there again. This breed, this breed is tough. I, you know, I kind of mentioned it, I didn't say it in this way, but uh, there, there's kind of three different types of it within this breed. And they're, they're all good in their own right and have a place 
Uh, but uh, I think we've got a very logical place to start, especially when we get them out on the move. Uh, the young lady sheep, you know, you've been listening to me all day. Obviously, we want to extend that sheep, make a little bit bigger and better, uh, uh, just up his front end, make him, just make a little more skeleton and outline. But good sheep coming in all shapes and sizes. And this one's built uh, pretty darn nice. Uh, when you get right behind him, there's plenty of power. When you get him out on the move, he just stays more correct in his lines and gets out and moves. Uh, just so much better than one in second. The one in second, I do like his front end. I like the power down his top. When you get him out on the move, he just don't want to get out there as free and easy. And when he's on the standstill, he just wants to lax up and not be as tight as muscle pattern for me, but a very logical place for that sheep. The lamb coming out in third, uh, he is definitely the problem child for me. This one from the side, I love this sheep. When you get your hands on him, he's just too raw, not enough uh, cover on him. And when viewed from behind, there's just not enough lower leg in that sheep to go higher. But from the side profile, I really, really like that sheep. We, we come back to the, the lamb and fourth. He just gives up a little overall skeleton. And when you get behind this sheep, he just gets a little narrow for me. Thank you. Division. You got a uh, heavily influenced Dorset sheep to win this class. You get behind this sheep. There's a lot of meat and muscle in him. You get your hands on him. He's not as uh, he's not as overdone as he sure appears. He, he he's actually kind of right on, really fresh to the handle. Even though he don't he don't really appear that way uh, when viewed from the front. You know we'd like to go ahead and clean him up a little bit through there. We'd like to trim him up to that neck and make it make him a little longer and prettier to that front end. But when you get behind it, this guy, there, there is a whole lot of meat and muscle and mass in him. A very nice uh, white face cross to start this class with. The one coming out in second, obviously is on the other end of the spectrum. Weight wise, one that's really nice and neat in its design. She just needs a little more weight and condition, uh, in my opinion, to, to try to run with, with, the, with the big old thick stout weather above him. Come back to another ewe lamb, the, the speckle face one here in, in, in third. Uh, one I'd like to see a little lever down the top, carry some more uh, width of muscle down that leg, and just be on, on a bigger stouter footer, bigger stouter foot. Thank you.
top end of uh, this crossbred class. Uh, I really thought getting them out and moving them would uh, make the difference right then, but they both wanted to kind of jump around and not freely walk. I think the determining factor comes uh, in two places here. If you want to flip these around, I'm here to discuss it and talk to you, but guys, I'm all about chest fours, all about front ends. And something we haven't talked about a whole lot today, and, that, and that, that's how that loin and hip, hip join together. And that's where the blue sheep excels in this class. He's so smooth down his top, he joins that loin right up with that hip so smoothly. If you want to talk about there might be a little more leg, a little more mass in the second place sheep, I'm here to listen to you. But this one kind of getting at this age and development, he ought to be getting in that loin and hip where it just flows in. And as you can see, he just raises there at the hook bones ever so slightly, and he's a little heavier at chest floor. Really cool design by this blue sheep. When she, she's got him a tick stretched right now, when she puts him together, he is really silhouetted perfectly from the side. Really nice sheep to start to class with. Second place sheep, like I said, <clears throat> a lot of county fairs, you don't get two, two sheep like this, this good in the same class, that are having a little difference of give and take. If we could clean him up ever so slightly on his chest floor and correct him right there where that loin hits that hip, he moves ahead. But those are two points that, that are dear to my heart, and that makes him fall in the second hole. Very nice project for the man, though. The rest of the three sheep in class, they got hit by a powerhouse class. The U.N. coming out in third, really neat, muscular when viewed from behind. You want to blow this one apart in her rack, just maybe lengthen her up and level her out just ever so slightly. But you talk about a powerhouse uh, of a third place you out here in the smart class she is. The two coming out in uh, fourth and fifth, they just uh, lack a little overall style and design and balance to move up. But two very nice projects for these young men. Thank you. Thank you. 
out here that they're fortunate, unfortunate enough not to make it out here. They're back in the barn. The majority of you sitting ringside, I'm assuming, understand uh, the time, the effort uh, that's put into these show animals. And it's not, not just the sheep, obviously the cattle, the hogs, everything. Things have changed so much and evolved over time. You know, it, it is for a lot of us that do this, it is our sport. Uh, I'm sure a lot of these kids also are in school sports and this and that. As, as they grow, they're gonna have to make some decisions. And, and I can tell you at our house, we've, we've made some tough decisions this year on, on sports over livestock and vice versa. Um, it's just part of growing up. If you're gonna do something, do it right. And I'll tell you, I think from being here last year and, and coming back again, I think Fulton County's doing something right. They're raising good kids and obviously either raising or finding good sheep to put out here in front of a man to sort. Anytime you sort, I mean, it's one guy's or gal's opinion uh, on one day, you, we could take these sheep back and we could start this deal back over at eight o'clock and I'm gonna tell you, it probably won't end up exactly the same as it did. There's a lot of things that go into this, keeping these animals hydrated and functional while they're here. Uh, that has a lot to do with it and and just uh you know they change with the weather like we do but i i am very impressed with this quality of stock you brought to me i think uh there are several different ways you can go out here with the top five we've definitely got some reserves to bring in that are definitely uh in contention for that top five uh, with that being said i don't have any big time inspirational words for you but I do want the crowd here in a second to do something for themselves. Kids, I know you're always asked to go back and thank that parent. We're gonna go ahead and do it all right now, but uh, we're gonna go ahead. I want... One moment. When I say it on the mic, I want you to say thank you everybody, okay? When I give you guys the cue on the mic, I want you to say thank you everybody, okay? When I give the cue on the mic, I want you guys to say thank you, everybody, okay? Did you hear that? When I give the cue on the mic, or I'll wonder something, say thank you to everybody. Okay, <laughs> took care of that little situation there. But, uh, you know, like I said earlier, it, it, it takes a lot of time, effort, money, everything involved to do this and, and try to do it right. So these kids out here in the ring have something to say to everybody. Okay, I'll work on that and make it work a little better next time. Uh, it, it was a last minute thought, but it uh, didn't work quite the way I thought. With that being said, put your hands together for yourselves for the time and effort you put in. I'm gonna go out and pick you a uh, top five market lamps. Thank you.
some breed champions out here and then some that weren't fortunate enough but i think there was uh th there's one that came back out here that i think is uh, deserving of this uh, I, I think it's a no-brainer he's the best sheep in here and he, he wasn't out here earlier but that's because of uh, uh, how deep his breed was the young lady on the far end will be your champion Good job. Good job. Good job, young man. division I think we got a logical place uh, I, I think it kind of falls together uh, one two three we're gonna go ahead and use the center pair to be your champion and, and come back with your natties for reserve and, and your shops will be third thank you
Put your hands together for these junior showmen out here. I encourage everyone to uh, come out in the showmanship. This is this is the time it's about you. Um, it's not really about the sheet. I, I'll be the first to admit um, to really be elite at the showmanship level. You got to have at least a decent sheet because it, you, you could make a decent sheet better but a poor sheep it's hard to do with but uh, we got three very good people out here that do a really nice job they've done a nice job all day unfortunately i have to pick a champion reserve uh, i uh, i just spoke with them real briefly about if there was anything special about the sheep they had and everything and and, and gave gave one girl a, a little tip and she's flat showing it off right now um, during the course of the show uh, we teach at home we show sheep we throw showmanship out the window, we show sheep. But when it comes time for showmanship, you need to kind of do what, what you're supposed to do. And by that, the, the, the biggest thing with that is, uh, you know, this young lady all day, has gotten a good drive out of her sheep. She's really stayed on them sheep. I've had to ask her to move away, and I have no issues as a judge uh, during the show asking them to move away. In showmanship, we need to go ahead and show that front end and, and show that you know what you're doing and everything. But uh, she's a flat fixture issue, so we're going to go ahead and use the little blonde on the end with the south down to be your champion showman. The young lady uh, with the hamster appearance sheet is going to be your reserve. Very nice job. Good job.
we've got uh, several kids out here. They all do a really, really nice job. Um, you know, showmanship has a lot to do with personal preferences, and it can vary between judges uh, rather handedly. But uh, one thing that I think any judge will tell, um, no matter if you start with the young kids and work up, or start with the older kids and work down, is definitely during showmanship, be listening to this microphone, be listening to things that they say. Uh, we've been fortunate enough uh, within my family that uh, my daughters hit the, hit the finals uh, at the state fair in the Market Lamb Showmanship all but one year, and that year she was uh, second behind the champion overall intermediate showman that year. And uh, a few years ago, we had cattle up there and we had sheep, and I told her, I said, it's time to go to the cattle barn for showmanship. And she said, no, tell mom I'm uh, scratching. I said, that's not gonna go over very well. And she said, well, tell her I'm gonna win this barn, so I'm scratching. All right, whatever. So I did. First thing my wife said when I told her she was scratching, she better win over there. Well, as we didn't think she could do it, she sat in them bleachers and watched every class of showmanship until it was time. And she knew everything that judge wanted when she went in the ring. She paid attention to everything, and she went out and smoked it that year. Uh, so always pay attention. And, and the reason I bring that up is out here with the juniors, uh, I made a point to show getting off them sheep and showing them front ends in showmanship. Uh, it, it, it's, just, it, it's just something you gotta do in showmanship. But uh, so always pay attention. You all did a very nice job going side to side and being on the opposite side of where I was. But uh, with that being said, you never laid off and showed me that front end. If you notice when I walked in that last time, I stood on that gate and I was trying to get every one of them to do it. I did have one. He got a little uh, cocky and nonchalant and almost lost his sheet. But he, uh, he got through that. And that was, if that judge is on the outer side, you turn and uh, walk on that off side. With that being said, uh, please put your hands together for him again. I think they're an awesome, awesome group of kids. They've done well all day. I think there's two that kind of kind of take it. My reserve, I'm gonna do this a little reversed. My reserve's gonna be the young man right here in the blue checkered. And my champion, uh, he, uh, he did something a little bolder than most. Not everybody has this opportunity, but uh, he brought a big yearling you out. The young man at the front's gonna be my champion.
your hands together for these senior showmen. We definitely have progressed on uh, abilities and, and, and capabilities and, and listening skills. I saw the smiles where I went and stood. There was about three of you that smiled at me. Uh, I don't know if you were expecting that or what. Uh, those of you that saw me push a lamb or move a foot, if you've never seen that, that's just uh, number one to see how quick and how they respond to resetting it up. And, and, and they all did a nice job. Nobody looked at me like uh, I was trying to kill their sheep or anything. So, um, you know, that's just uh, over the years, different showmanships, I've seen that. And, and it, it's amazing some of the looks and disgust you get when you, when you do that. But uh, I think it, it really lays down. There's three out here that are really, really good. And, and that's not taking anything away from the other three. Uh, but one of those three just doesn't always have that lamb set just right. Um, does a whale of a job, done a whale of a job all day, brought good sheep for me and, and really got them stuck uh, in the show. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna give an honorable mention here to the young lady in pink. And I mean, if you look right now, that sheep's just a tick off balance. She's just not set dead nuts on the way she ought to be, in my opinion. The two up on this end, I think, uh, come out here and, and kind of, uh, in their own right, kind of put a smoke show on things. That, that they both come out here with the intensity and the drive to win it. Um, I think one does it just a little bit smoother and a little quicker and faster than the other one. Your champion's gonna be the young man in the blue. Your reserve will be the young lady in the front. Thank you.
not sure if we called this uh, Master or Supreme or we, whatever it is, uh, you know, the, the highest honor of showmanship for the Fulton County Fair. Go ahead and put your hands there for these kids that come back out here. I uh, failed earlier to mention that I wanted to say thank you to Fulton County for inviting me here and the, the ring staff and the beautiful queens we had to help them give out ribbons all day. They've all done a great job, but it, it really is nice for a judge when, when, the, when the ring help and, and the show keeps moving, it, it just makes it easier and a nicer day uh, just all along. But to get back to these kids, uh, I think there's a, they all four do a good job. We've got two up on this end. If you've seen them go down earlier, they're a little more of a breeding you style, which is fine with me. Uh, we show market lambs predominantly or commercial market lambs commercially used predominantly but uh, we've had some breeding sheep and, and we've even had some weathers that we've kind of showed down on because they look better with you off so i have no issues with the girls going down up front actually kind of like to see that every now and then especially on a really big tall extended one there um, but i think it comes down to two uh, in my opinion out here i think there's one that, that has done a really really good job all day uh, really kind of cranked it up out here in the showmanship portion the other one has also done a good job all day i was kind of waiting to see that one out here in showmanship uh, i'm gonna go out and pick you a champion reserve once again thanks for having me here please give uh, your uh, <coughs> ring help and, and staff and the queens a big round of applause thank you